Hello everybody, my name is Greaser Games and welcome to Star Citizen. So without further ado, let's get it started. Now, as you see, we are currently currently in Quantum, um, but we don't have that much longer to go. And we are using a VKO Quantum Drive, which if you don't know, it's actually the fastest Quantum Drive in the game. And it fits on any size one it's a size one quantum drive, so any of your small ships it will fit on. Now, um, this video is going to show you how to run a vulture efficiently, as it says it in the title, and um, it'll kind of help guide you along in the realm of salvaging. Now, obviously, on your reclaimer, uh, you're you have a separate seat called the claw and that is how you're going to disintegrate your ships um, but here on the small little uh, vulture it's a little bit simpler um, hang on we got a couple of things we got to do to see the planet I think yeah it's over there Oh, Lordy. Anyway. I do have a reclaimer, but I'm not going to be... Obviously, this video is aimed at the vultures, so... Anyway. Alright. So here we are at the salvage location. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the quantum drive. And it's probably going to be... yeah. There we go. It has been a minute since I've flown the Vulture, but I still know what I'm doing for the most part. And then fly past the ship, because I was going a little bit fast there. But that's okay. I'm getting used to it again. It's um, going to be a hot minute before I fully get used to it. So. Um, I haven't flown this ship in over a month. That's why it's taking me a little bit. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit M to go into salvage mode here. We're going to do Alt W to switch into fracture. And we're just going to left click to uh, engage the fracture. And we're going to go up nice and close to this. Boom, done. All right, disintegrate. All I want is that main body of the ship practically, and that's pretty much it. This main body is 22 SCU. There we go. Now all we do is switch back. Oh god. What the heck is... What is that? What's going on with that? Come on now. Why? Okay, it fixed itself. Sweet. So now we're going to go to the personal tab. Going to go back to salvage. And we're going to do Drake Cutlass Black Cleanup. Accept offer. Now, all we're going to do is jump over to Drake Cutlass Black. Doesn't take that long. I have a, a VKO Quam Drive. I think I said that. Um, I wouldn't recommend it unless you know, you know, uh, very good fuel management and stay on top of your fuel otherwise you can end up in a situation where you run out of it pretty darn quickly um, do I have I should have yeah all right we are good now this machine here can only print out one uh, SCU cargo which is fine um, so all you do is you just take your cargo boxes here and now we're not going to be doing this um, forever. I'm just going to do this for the this first set. And then the second ship we just disintegrate, and then from then on forward, every ship afterward we just fracture. But anyway, give me a couple minutes, and I will be back. Well, 
a couple minutes for me, a uh, second for you guys. All right, I'm doing the last couple boxes here now. This is the, um, uh, I forgot what it is. It's the tractor beam gun, but I think it's called the grab gun or something like that. Um, I don't remember exactly, but anyway, I like it, it's efficient. And that's printing out that last box there, and that's just going to stay right there. Because we don't need to put it on the cargo grid, it will sell when we go to admin at a space station. I'm going to go ahead and put my gun away, and take a seat. And it sounds like I left my quantum on or something. Yep. Alright. So now we target. You don't have to target if you don't want to target. I just prefer to do so. Oh, I didn't even notice those little asteroids. I'm probably going to go a little bit too far again. No, I'm not. Alright, looky there. No, well, now I am because I overcorrected myself. Just a tad bit. All right, switch back into salvaging mode and do the same thing. Closer you are to it, the faster it salvages or fractures. And disintegrate the main hole again, which this should fill us up if I get a little bit, uh, if I line it up right. There we go, eh, almost filled us up. There's got to be another big chunk of the ship somewhere that I'm not... That should do it, should we do it right there? Yeah. Alright. So now, we no longer disintegrate any more ships. All we're going to do now is fracture. And you're going to see how profitable this is. So, notice, we get paid 80k per personal salvage mission that we do. Now, um, if you didn't see what I did, I clicked on the personal tab in my contracts manager, clicked on salvage, and clicked on uh, Cutlass Black Cleanup. Now, the Cutlass Black or the Andromeda Cleanup, it has to say cleanup, by the way. You're not looking for a normal salvage um, because a normal salvage will cost you money and you won't earn anything just from fracturing it. You're looking for the cleanup, so that way you get paid 80k just for um, fracturing that ship. So here we go. Come on, stop. There we are. Look how good I am. Done. All right. On to the next one. And you see at the top, I got awarded 80k. Accepting the next one, and boom. Now some people are not going to like the fact that I left the ship there. And trust me, I wouldn't normally do it, but um, we're going to do it just for the this, this time. Um, because... There's a reason for it. Persistence is enabled on these servers. And so when you leave stuff, you know, in places, it tends to stay there. Now, um, so try to clean up your messes if you can. But I'm just going, I'm just showing you guys for the sake of the video, how to, uh, be very efficient. Obviously, I would recommend you to clean these up using the disintegration, which you can still do even though you are full. Um, but this is just how you do it efficiently. You just go from one mission to the next, to the next, to the next, over and over and over again. Until eventually, Alright. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Come on. I side strafed a little bit too much. Sometimes I do that. I'm still trying to get tuned back up with this ship. Been flying the reclaimer in the whole sea a bit too much. 
So with this ship, I'm a little bit um, overconfident or yeah. I'm getting too used to the feeling of a light ship. All right, there we go. And we just go straight over to the next one. Now the first ship, oh looky there, we don't have another one. All right, I'll give it a minute. I'll clean up my mess. While I'm cleaning up my mess, hopefully another one will spawn it. I had a sweet spot there, 17%. Not only does that increase speed, but that does increase how much you get from the uh, the disintegration of what you're aiming at. It seems that the game got a little bit wise to me. Because I am not getting a new... Um, I'm not getting any new savage missions for, you know, any new cleanups. But, if you go back to after the first salvage, um, or probably back to the beginning of the video, I think I had 80, or yeah, 800k, and you see I'm up to um, 960k, so I made 160k, no I made more than that, I think 800k was after the first ship. Because I've done three, so yeah, that would make sense. Um, we made... Yeah, see, we don't have any cleanups for what we're looking for. But we made a total of 240k plus what we have inside of the depot so far in that little bit of time. Um, now, some of the video is going to be edited, but once I start salvaging, I will um, keep everything in so you guys see just how quick that is. Because it is really darn quick. Um, now, again, I don't have to do this because I already have a full depot and I already have a full cargo grid. Um, there we go, Cutlass Black King cleanup. Sometimes you have to wait a little bit, and then you'll get another another one, and you can just start going back to it. Man, I like the VKO Quantum Drive. But yeah, it's um really darn quick to make money doing salvage. Would recommend it to any pi anyone that's getting that's starting out in the game. I definitely would recommend salvage to them if you want to just make pure money profits and that's just because of the current update in the game all right once they go and uh, add 3.23 Lord knows if the salvage game loop is going to be as profitable it probably won't so that is the thing to keep in mind is it's only profitable right now all right that was a bit more accurate on my part all right there we go look at there we've now made uh i don't know 32,000 or 3200 oh three we that we've made 320,000 And unfortunately, I think other people are running salvage as well with a vulture. That's the reason why we're not getting the missions as often. Um, but that's okay. I'll let them run run some salvage because I don't really need it. Um, so now I'm going to show you guys what to do. After we've already done salvage, you know, four ships, but yeah, four ships. We're going to go to Crusader, we're going to go to the Seraphim Station, and it's going to be pretty darn quick um, to make a bit more money. So we should have about 160k just sitting in our ship depot and cargo grid. 
Hardware grid is worth 80k and the depot is worth another 80k. So that's just another thing to keep in mind and that is the reason why I do that as well. So whenever we have somebody else doing um, doing the salvage, you know, like what we're doing right now, and we're no longer getting the missions as frequent, um, then I go to a station and I sell the salvage, I sell the recycled, um, not recycled, what is it? I sell the construction materials to a station and then, um, and then we head back out there. That's the most efficient way of running the Vulture. Um, so, obviously I'm going to show you guys selling the, um, what we have on board and show you how much money we make from both sales. And uh, now that we're in the armistice, there we go. Please proceed to your signed landing bay. No, don't mind if I do. All right, go ahead and drop down our landing gear here. And uh, you guys saw my little piloting skills there. Now with, with this ship, it's easy to uh, get yourself a little bit mixed up and I tapped my butt there a little bit trying to watch out for my bailer arms because I don't mind doing that. Damaging your bailer arms is a major concern on this ship. I don't mind a little love tap from the back every once in a while. But the... Um, your bailer arms, if you lose them, you have to claim the ship. Those are non-repairable at the current moment. Um, I don't know when they'll ever... I don't know if or when they'll ever fix that, but I just know... Why didn't I go out through the front? I could have went out through the front and I chose not to. Okay. Anyway. The, these arms here, if you lose them, claim the ship because yes, you can repair and get one of those arms back, but you'll be stuck wondering why in the world will it not fully repair my ship? And it's because they won't repair the actual system. Um, so yes, you will have your bailer arm back, but no, it will not be functional. And you'll just go all the way back out there to salvage a ship and turns out that the arm doesn't work anymore and you're scratching your head trying to figure out what's going on and why you can't fracture and disintegrate ships. So that's just the thing to keep in mind. Um, it is it is not recommended to treat your ship harshly. All right, now we'll go up to the admin center and you'll see how much we get from the first sell. And then we just go back down there, stack more boxes and sell again, which takes almost no time at all. It's just a little bit annoyance just running down twice or running up to admin twice. All right. So that's 73,000 there, plus another 6,000 there, so about 80k, 79k. Ah, oh, crap. Eh. I kind of messed up that one, that jump. Drake Volchla. Alright. Yeah, this is a small machine. I have to manually equip my my thing because I have a grav gun. Stupid. All right, and about a minute later, I am done stacking boxes. Let's go ahead and close that ramp up. And oh, I already closed it up. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and head back to cargo, not cargo services, Galleria, admin, 
and sell. And since I've already been there, you guys don't need to see me go back there. All right, 73,000 for that again. Oh God, there we go. 8,000 DPI mouse, guys. Gotta love it. All right, there we go. And we started the day with, I think, uh, 720,000 and we have ended with 1.2 million. You guys can double check on that because I'm not entirely sure on how much I started, but I can tell you that after the first ship we had about 800k and um yeah it, it's been in this short amount of time that i recorded this video we have made quite a bit of money and again now that we're done i can almost guarantee you that there's going to be more uh cleanup missions yep so somebody is running a reclaimer now because actually there's a few reclaimers running now because the hammerhead cleanups are missing are no longer there so that tells me that there's uh, a few reclaimer crews and that it would not be wise to go and take one out right now anyway if you did enjoy this video please remember to like comment subscribe share hit the notification bell icon and i'll see you in the next one where i don't know what type of video it's going to be but it'll be interesting